So I've already filmed this once, but I thought I'd got to start again. Um, hi. It's been six months since I did a vlog. Um, I am presently... There's the fire section. Nine days post-Covid. Um, I've had Covid before and I won't say it was pleasant but it wasn't as bad as this time. Um, I've never felt so ill in my life, ever. Not even when I had flu, and I've had flu once, and I thought that was awful. But, um, yeah, this wasn't pleasant at all. Um, mm. Anyway, I'm on the mend now, um, so I, I, can, I can just do the stairs, get up and down, and then I'm absolutely floored. The flooring bit has knackered me. I mean, shocked me. I mean, brain fog on top of many balls. <laughs> the brain fog's like, what? Anyway, I'm not coughing as much. I'm still congested, but not as much. I've never been congested in all my life. I just, it was something on another level for me, this one. I don't know. Simon has been an absolute angel and has been looking after me. There was a point where I thought I might have to go into hospital and that was my worst nightmare because the thought of not being around him and being in hospital, nah. So I didn't go. <laughs> I think he wanted me to go, but I won't go. Um, everything tastes disgusting absolutely disgusting and I've not got my smell back yet but I, the I can taste and it's foul um, that is foul I wonder if it's off <laughs> how long does fresh orange last can you tell when it's off because that don't taste nice um, yeah I haven't vlogged for six months and the reason that I've picked up a camera today is the past couple of days I've started to feel brighter um, and I've been watching I've, oh God, I can't get my words out I've been looking at other vlogs something that I could play in the background or watch and not feel wound up by not feel like I needed to jump up and do what they're doing you know what I mean and it was just, I needed something that was just chilled watching that I could just listen to and feel comforted by. I think that's, it was like a comforting. Um, so I found, I can't look at the camera because I don't know where the camera is on this phone. Um, I watched a vlog called Freckles in Her Forties and I've actually binge watched all of her videos that go back four years. Um, she was really, really calming. Sorry, I feel really sick now. I think that orange juice is off. Um, foul. And then I found another one of a young girl called Jadels, J-A-D-D-L-E-S. Um, again, she's just, she just puts up a weekly vlog of her daily life. And it's just wholesome. Is that the word, wholesome? It made me, I'm losing track of what I'm saying. It made me anyway go back today and have a look at one, a couple of um, my and Simon's old vlogs. And I wasn't looking at the content or anything like that. I was actually looking at it like I'd look at a photo album. And it brought comfort and it brought smiles. And it was like, oh, I remember that. So. Long and short of it is I want to start the vlogs back up so that me and Simon have got something to look back on and go, oh, I remember that. And yeah, I could do it and store it on the computer, but on my computer it uses up all the memory and then I'm not very good at transferring stuff to my, um, whatever you call it, external hard drive. So I'm going to do it and I'm going to put it on YouTube. So there you go. 
What have I been up to in the past six months? Well, my two grandchildren are growing, absolutely beautiful and I'm besotted. Uh, so yeah, on, I can't remember if it was Monday or Tuesday, I seemed to deteriorate and Simon ran the doctor and he did want a home visit and they couldn't do it. So they rang up and asked if I'd try and get in and I said, I really don't think I can. They said, we really need you to try. So I don't know how I got in. I really don't. Simon took me and I don't know how I got in there. And the waiting room was full. And I was gasping for breath. So I thought, well, I'm not going to sit around all these people. I'm going to sit in the corridor on my own, well away from everybody. Oh, I'll be a genius. And I sat and I got my head on the wall and I got my eyes shut because I was trying to breathe normally because it was really hard to breathe. And I saw this woman, and she had about four children, and they walked past, there was one in a pushchair, and then there was a toddler and some that looked about eight or nine. And they walked past, and I didn't think anything of it, and they went into their um, GP room. And then, all of a sudden, I heard this little voice in the corridor and said, Mummy, Mummy, what's that? Um, look, hold on. Mummy, mummy, look, there's an old lady sitting on the floor looking sad. So I looked around thinking, oh, there's this old lady sat on the floor looking sad. I wonder if somebody's fallen over. There was no other old ladies on the floor. There was me on the floor. So, yeah. Then she proceeded to come quite near me. Not right up to me, but quite near me. And she's going, are you okay, old lady? Are you okay? Which was very sweet. But one, I didn't want to near me. And two, yeah, I would have been old to her, but... Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to be <coughs> looking like an old lady yet. And now I've completely lost where I am and what I'm talking about. What were they talking about? Oh, I don't know. Um, so what else have been up to in six months? Let's just jump. Um... I have, I don't, uh, so I'm teaching and I do that part time, very, very part time and that's um, sessional so I don't have a contract so it's as and when, um, not as and when actually, it's, I don't get sick pay, you know, you don't get the, the benefits of the contract basically so it's, um, what do you call it, a zero hour contract, is that what you call them now? Um, and then I've got a little tiny room that I rent for to do for to do my treatments in, and so I've been doing my holistic therapies uh, in there for women, and it's slowly building up. Apart from it's really bizarre because since Wednesday, I've only had one inquiry that I've obviously had to put off because I wanted it that day, and I had to say I'm sorry I'm poorly, but it's like the universe has said. Don't let anybody inquire for this week, um, which is good. But that business is very, very slow. But the people I'm having back are new clients and they are passing the word on. So I'm, it's nice that it's building up slowly. Um, and I'm enjoying that. It, it makes me, when I'm giving like Reiki and treatments, it makes me feel calm and it, it's, so it's like self-healing as well. Um, what else? Still doing the eBay, although my eBay, as I normally say, my eBay is pants, but that is because I'm not um, constant with it. I don't give time to it all the time. I'm not constant. Yeah, con I'm not consistent. So I need to get consistent with it. I will get consistent with it. It's not a, I, I'm going to, I will be. I've lost it now. That's it, I'm worn out. <laughs> I've talked too much. Um, I'm trying to think, it's going to rain. I'm going to go and get myself a cup of tea. I am going to upload this that's just saying that I'm going to start doing my vlogs again. If you are still subscribed and, and you're still following, it'd be lovely for you to follow along and chat in the comments. Um, yeah. Don't know what else.
else to say now. It's all, all of a sudden I've gone doof. Just sat looking at the blossom on the tree. You can tell it's not April yet because all the blossom's still here. When it's April, all the blossom with the winds, don't they? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so, yeah. I'm going to get rid of that orange juice because I think that must be off. I can't think that uh, anything could taste so disgusting. Mmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I could tell you that's been really interesting for the past six months. And there isn't. I've just got older. <laughs> um, oh, I do. I, I did join the, that. Yeah, there is something else. My class, I had some blood stunned because um, I've got what's called Hashimoto. So um, an autoimmune disorder that affects your thyroid. Had it for years and years. Ears. <coughs> <coughs> they have to have regular blood tests. Well, should do. That changed when we got um, we got uh, lockdowns. But anyway, by the by, um, they did yeah my checks and then decided to do some well women bloods. This is about four months ago. Uh, my cholesterol is through the roof. Scarily through the roof. Um, a lot higher than I thought it could ever be. So I said to the doctor, I'm not going on statins on the phone. I sent a message, I'm not going on statins. Um, I'll join the gym and I'll lose weight and then see if it changes. I joined the gym. I've not, I've been once um, and I've not lost any weight. So this could be my motivator as well to get to the gym. My prep being on my own at the gym. I find the gym quite boring. Um... And I should really do it at home. But now I've joined, I've, it's a contract, so I'm in it till July again. And I did this last year. I paid £40 a month for a year and I went three times. And I've done it again and I haven't got that money to waste. Um, but this could be my motivator. I'm going to get myself better from this bug. And then um, start going to the gym. And I've got to get my weight down. I should have had my bloods done three months later, which means I'm nearly a month late, if not more. Um, and I know that my cholesterol level won't have gone down and it's not something to brag about. So I need to sort my shizzle out, basically. Uh, so yeah, I could video some of that as well, couldn't I? Video vlog. Um, so you, you can be my motivators. <laughs> I need to be my own motivator, but yeah, it'd be nice for people um, to chat about it. Are you going through the same? Are you of a similar age to me? Are you going through menopause, been through menopause, experienced the symptoms and things that I do? Um, <coughs> <coughs> How long did it take you to get over this COVID? Um, you know, anything chat to me <laughs> that'd be nice um so yeah i'm just gonna say hi i hope you're all well um leave a comment below let me know how you've been doing what you've been up to and yeah i will start vlogging as from Tomorrow, maybe it's no. I don't know if it's any point doing it this week because I'm just like confined to the bed or the kitchen. I have gone outside for some fresh air. I might do that, but yeah, I was going to stop babbling because this is complete babble and just say, Hope you're well, and comment below. And if you want to come along on the journey of a middle aged woman that moans a lot and um doesn't really have an interest in life that I was once pointed out to by somebody that watched the video. I was a very boring woman. Um, so if you want to join a boring woman that just chats um, about her day and vlogs it, then please do. It'd be really nice. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this orange juice. It tastes disgusting. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.